developments. Um, haven't had a video up for a while, so we're going to get one up this week. Basically, give you an idea what we're doing. We've have done, we've been doing a little bit harvesting, and but we're still doing a lot of tidying up on this site. Um, probably be going to be more next year when you start seeing we're doing all that bits of stuff. Um, well, I've got some plans in the future for the future, so um, we'll go out now and see what the lads are up to. Right, well, Dano's big at digging, and Rob, who's just coming up from behind us now, um, are busy digging a nice big hole because we're going to bury, we're going to bury that rubbish behind because getting a skip's going to be impossible. So they're digging a nice big hole to get our lad in. Um, and along here, there's my onions and. As you notice, I used to have a lot of taties here. We second early are all gone. So these beds are getting cleared, except for the um, leaks there. This bed is empty now. We're now just gonna, we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna strip it to hold all the wood off. Turn, we're gonna turn it into a no dig. So we'll be getting that pulled up soon. Um, Eventually that's going to be turned into a no dig. This is my brassica bed. Um, winter cabbages. Sprouts at the top. We need to get in and weed it. Um, this bed's finished with. Um, basically, I ended up really putting nothing in this bed. Peas have all gone down. So all that's got to be dug over. Where tomato plants are doing well up there, so we're getting a harvest of tomatoes there. Um, this area is just the same as usual. We've got a rhubarb up there, wapper tree over there, and um, a new gate over there. So, um, basically, that's really all I can show you from now. Um, what well, you know, we're all going to make plans in the future because what I want to do over here is uh, build a fruit cage. So I'm on hold for two weeks, so we're going to look at getting that planned out. And um, as I say, well, once we get all this clear, all the, this is all taties here. Once we get all these dug up, um, we're going to level this all out again. And... We're going to make this into no dig beds as well. So that's where plans for the future. So um, hope you enjoyed this this little video. And um, please don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll catch you probably during a week. I'll probably put another one up and give you an update on what we've done. So bye for now. Well, sorry everybody, but Dio uh, Dano's build has now passed away <laughs> uh, Rob's busy going ashes to ashes dust to dust <laughs> yeah, doing a day or day allotment um, we've just um, de-weeded this and that's what uh, winter cabbage and sprouts busy growing we're clearing these beds out ready for the winter um, in here is still um, beetroot beetroot at the top um, which haven't grown yet. Well, I have picked a load, so as you can see, some lovely beetroot there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cut the tops off them, and then we're gonna put them in a nice bag to put away, and then until I can get to take home and make some um, pickled beetroot. So um, catch you later on. Let you know what else we've been doing. So bye for now. Hi, uh, Dave here from DRD Allotment. Um, we'll be down today clearing, clearing all this pot. So that looks tidy. That's sort of done now for the for the winter. Um, wood there to burn. The beds that are finished, we we'll put the, these over the top of them. Just um, keep to suppress the weeds as much as we can. Um, Tomatoes have been pulled up and all that, so all that's ready to be sort of cleared and sorted. 
this uh, I'm going to get a nice long uh, ground sheet put out and we're going to build beds onto here so that's a job for the autumn uh, well brassicas are still growing nicely sprouts at the back this bed's covered up and um, we're going to start working on this part soon get this tidied up now we can put the rubbish over there it'll have to stay there so I have sprayed down here but my spray has not had it's sprung a leak so I'm going to have to get a new sprayer because that's um, half full of um, weed killer so when I put pressure on it it's coming out at the bottom as well so it's somehow sprung a leak so I'm going to have to go down to town and buy a new sprayer transfer that into there then I can spray the rest of this so it's going to be next week by the time I do that um, um, so basically we're now sort of winding down for the win for the winter months um, so it's basically I've been building some um, pallets up to make um, raised beds for in here so get that we'll probably get them sorted in the next couple of months and um, I'll do sort of videos of that when it's happening um, so we'll not be putting that much out as I say I'm back to work next week so I'll probably just be down once or twice a week then Danny will be down more often doing stuff, probably clearing that, clearing this top area. And um, so we'll keep you up to date as much as we can. And uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to put a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. So um, goodbye from me.